After Moses arrived in Midian, he married Zipporah, the daughter of Jethro, the priest of Midian. One day, Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law. He led the flock far into the wilderness and came to Mount Sinai, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a blazing fire from the middle of a bush. Moses stared in amazement. Though the bush was on fire, it was not burning up. This is amazing, Moses said to himself. Why isn't that bush burning up? I must go nearer to see it. Moses, Moses. The angel of the Lord called out from the bush. Moses was scared when he heard the voice. I am here, he answered. Do not come any closer. The Lord warned. God said, Take off your shoes. You are standing on holy ground. So Moses took off his shoes. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. When Moses heard this, he covered his face because he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord told him, Look, the cry of the people of Israel has reached me, and I have seen how harshly the Egyptians abused them. Now go, for I am sending you to Pharaoh. You must lead my people Israel out of Egypt. But Moses protested to God, Who am I to appear before Pharaoh? Who am I to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt? God answered, I will be with you. But Moses protested again, What if they won't believe me? Or listen to me? What if they say, The Lord never appeared to you? What is that in your hand? A shepherd's staff, Moses replied. Throw it down on the ground. So Moses threw down the staff, and it turned into a snake. Moses jumped back. Reach out and grab its tail. So Moses reached out and grabbed it, and it turned back into a shepherd's staff in his hand. Perform this sign. Then the people will believe that the Lord really has appeared to you. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now put your hand inside your cloak. So Moses put his hand inside his cloak, and when he took it out again, his hand was white as snow with a severe skin disease. Now put your hand back into your cloak. So Moses put his hand back in, and when he took it out again, it was as healthy as the rest of his body. But Moses pleaded with the Lord, O oh Lord, I'm not very good with words. I never have been, and I'm not now. Even though you have spoken to me, I get tongue-tied, and my words get tangled. Then the Lord asked Moses, who makes a person's mouth? Now go. I will be with you as you speak. And I will teach you what to say. But Moses again pleaded, Lord, please, send anyone else. Then the Lord became angry with Moses. All right. What about your brother, Aaron the Levite? I know he speaks well. And look, he is on his way to meet you now. He will be delighted to see you. Talk to him, and put the words in his mouth. I will be with both of you as you speak. 
and I will teach you both as to what to do. And what to say. So with the staff of God in his hand, Moses headed back to the land of Egypt. Because God has called him to lead the children of Israel out of slavery to the land he promised them, a land flowing with milk and honey.